Hey, hey, look what Santa brought me in December. £25 off eBay. It turns out nobody else wanted a three phase motor at Christmas time, just me. So I did really well, that was a good bargain. It's that long since I bought it, I've actually forgot what I've got. And I need to find out because I'm going to order an inverter tonight to run it. And I, if memory serves me right, I think it's a one and a half horsepower. I'm not 100% sure. So, Brooke Compton, just, and she's. What is she? Oh, 0.75 kilowatt. What does that make it then? 0.75 kilowatt. Is that one horsepower? I'll have to check with that. It's enough to run the, uh, the saw anyway. So that was a good find. Right, I'm off to get an inverter. Hey, hey! The new inverter's turned up. Happy days. Looks good. Oh, oh dear. What have we got there? That's upsetting. Hopefully it still works. Uh, and it's about a third bigger than the old one for some reason. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look at the motor. Damn. Right, so let's have a look in here, see what we've got. It's a dual voltage motor. Three phase, so it'll run on 380 and 240 three phase, which is exactly what I want. We just need to change over from star to delta, which is just a simple case of moving some plates over inside this box here, hopefully. Looks like it was used for some kind of woodworking machinery. Let's have a look inside, see what we got. Right. Well, that's never good. This is not a good time to be colour blind. They're all blue. <laughs> just going to cut the blue wire. No, I'm just going to move these plates over from the star co configuration over to delta. Uh, they go that way. Dead easy. So I'll just do that off camera. Also, this wire is not long enough. It's only about a foot long. So I just swap that over because I've got some. Hold on. Hold on. He says. I picked up some armoured. Much better. Right, let's get on with that. So first things first, I'll remove this old wire. It's not long enough. Pretty windy outside today, I've lost a few fence panels. So that's upsetting. What's it like where you are? Right, blue, brown, black. Blue, brown, black. Don't forget that, it's important because I will. <laughs> Blue, brown, black. Really should take a photo of things like this, shouldn't you? That's that gone. Right, next, move these plates over from star to delta. Star to Delta, that sounds like a David Bowie uh, song, that.
Those are not easy. Right, I'll finish the rest off camera because it's getting pretty boring now. See you in a bit. Well, I prepared the wire. So you can see. But I'll tell you what else is upsetting. I've just realised I've not got any of these terminals. And I have to go all the way down to machine mark the other side of the Bolton. Oh, poo. I'm back. I've got these bad boys from Machine Mart for £16. Quite expensive. They look a bit more expensive than I was expecting. But you get 300 because that should last a lifetime of bodging old cars and things like that. Handsome. Right, let's have a go at this. Looks about right. Got my handy crimper, a car boot crimper. <laughs> Hopefully that'll do the job, he says. Lovely. Right, I'll just stick the rest of them on. This new armoured cable is slightly differently colour coded. Instead of the blue, brown, black, we've got grey, brown and black. So it doesn't really matter. They work just as well. As long as we don't forget. And that's that. Right, let's have a look at the other end. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I've only gone and left the bleeding gasket off. So we're back at the saw, and the problem I always had with the saw was I could never get the gearing down low enough. It was always too fast when it was sawing. making the whole lot rock as you can see even when it's bolted down it rock so hopefully the new mortar will help that out ok the mortar's wired and I've sorted out the wiring in the inverter let's just zoom in this side that's your 240 in from your plug. You've got your earth, which is a shared earth, because you still got to get earth into the mortar. And then you've simply got your live and your neutral from your single phase power supply, your plug basically. And then you've got W and V, which is there, which is again live and neutral. That is your main coil. And then you've got U, which is your secondary coil because you obviously get a secondary coil on a three phase motor and that's basically how you wire it up and I'll just show you the wiring diagram because I'm a nice guy like that <laughs> and if you want to freeze frame you can soak it all up but it's pretty easy really then it shows the terminals there Okay, so we're now going to try it. I'm a little bit worried about that big dent. Hopefully that won't affect it too much. So I'm going to switch you on and see how we get on. Well, there's life there. Now with these more expensive models, I always go for these. 
you got the speed control, the motor speed so just need to start up now there we go and there's life hey I tell you what you can tell that's a quality motor it's really quiet even on this table you should probably make it sound louder than what it is so a boot Compton good motors I'm going to have some good fun with this I've still got to program this yet because you can do motor braking and uh, soft and uh, slow start this other panel here that's an auxiliary stop start button and that is how I wired up the controls to lay after that but for the power hacksaw I'm still waiting for an old retro start stop box obviously <laughs> but I haven't got that yet but at least I can make a start on the saw so I hope that helps anybody who's thinking of wiring it doing one, it's quite easy and I think you should do it oh I love that and stop so there you go, hope that was all of interest to you all thank you for viewing and please subscribe and come back for the second episode when I put it on the saw I've had enough of that